In the last lecture, we completed utilization factor and now I will explain reserve capacity. I will take two different cases, case 1 and case 2 to explain the reserve capacity. In case number 1, let's say we have a power plant in which there is only one generator is installed and the capacity of this generator, the installed capacity is let's say 500 megawatt and in this particular case the maximum demand p max is equal to let's say 350 megawatt so this is the scenario and in this scenario we have to find out reserve capacity so let's understand what is reserve capacity and how to calculate it reserve capacity is simply equal to 500 megawatt which is the plant capacity minus 350 megawatt when you solve it you will get 150 megawatt so reserve capacity is equal to plant capacity pc minus the maximum power or the maximum demand so rc is equal to pc minus p max this is the formula of reserve capacity and to understand this let us take one simple example let's say you are having let's say you are having hundred dollars with you and you bought something having the cost fifty dollars so this is what you have to pay because this is the demand of the shopkeeper this is the demand of the shopkeeper and you are having hundred dollars so this is the capacity this is your capacity and uh, once you pay fifty dollars you are left with you are left with fifty dollars so this remaining fifty dollars is the reserve capacity this is your reserve in the same way if the installed capacity is 500 megawatt and the maximum demand is 350 megawatt so after supplying 350 megawatt you are left with 150 megawatt which we call reserve capacity in this particular case we took only one power plant let's take two different power plants p1 and p2 in case number two and uh, there is only one generator in p1 let's call it g1 prime and one generator in p2 let's call it g2 the installed capacity of g1 prime is 500 megawatt and the installed capacity of generator g2 is 250 megawatt and the two generators or the two plants are working together to supply the power and uh, the total installed capacity will be 500 megawatt plus 250 megawatt and it will be 750 megawatt so the two plants are sharing the load and in case number two let's say the maximum demand p max is equal to 650 megawatt so what is the reserve capacity the reserve capacity in this case is equal to pc1 prime which is the installed capacity of generator g1 prime plus pc2 the installed capacity of generator g2 minus p max very simple so we have pc1 prime plus pc2 which is equal to 750 megawatt the total installed capacity minus 650 when you solve it you will get 100 megawatt as the reserve capacity so we are having 100 megawatt as the reserve now let us try to find out reserve capacity in this particular case you are having the load curve and in this load curve plant capacity is given 200 megawatt so pc is equal to 200 megawatt and you can see the maximum load is 150 megawatt so reserve capacity is 200 megawatt minus 150 megawatt so 50 megawatt is the reserve capacity in this particular case now the next part of this lecture is very important in which we will find out reserve capacity in terms of pmax plf and pcf reserve capacity in terms of 
maximum power plant load factor and plant capacity factor for this i will first write down reserve capacity it is equal to plant capacity minus the maximum power plant capacity we can write as average power over plant capacity factor because plant capacity factor is equal to average power over the plant capacity so from here we can write pc as p average over pcf p max we can write as p average over plf because plf is equal to p average over p max very simple now i will take p average common so reserve capacity is equal to p average inside the bracket 1 upon pcf minus 1 upon plf or we can write or we can write p average p average inside the bracket plf minus pcf over pcf plf taking lcm i can also write it as p average over plf this plf i have written as p average over plf and inside the bracket plf minus pcf over pcf p average by plf is equal to p maximum so reserve capacity is equal to p maximum plf minus pcf over pcf so this is the final result using this result we can solve various problems and this is very important relation this is very important relation now let us try to find out reserve capacity using this result in the above case we already calculated p l f and p c f p l f was equal to 0 0.0.701 and p c f was equal to 0 0.526 we already know p max it is 150 so the reserve capacity the reserve capacity is equal to 150 megawatt inside the bracket 0 0.701 value of plf minus pcf is 0 0.526 pcf divided by 0 0.526 pcf when you solve it you will get reserve capacity as 50 megawatt this is nearly equal to 50 megawatt which is same as the result we obtained by subtracting the p maximum from the installed capacity so this is all you need to know about the reserve capacity this relation is very important we will solve various problems based on this relation so remember it in case you don't remember this result you can easily derive it using this procedure so this is all for this lecture in the next lecture we will discuss about demand factor